Welcome back, everybody, for our second Tamar scenario for our Georgians campaign. We have Yuri's Revenge, our, I'm sure, rather bitter ex-husband. Uh, we also have an achievement in this one. Game's over, Yuri. Defeat Yuri before the end of the siege in Yuri's Revenge. So I guess we got a, ourselves a little bit of a timer. Pump up the volume. Opportunists lurk in the shadows of victory. Just as your father contended with a vengeful Kushluk, Never my mother of now faced the wrath of those blindsided by Yuri's Austin. One evening, Tamar invited the Asnauris to dinner, only to notice that her drink was not quite the usual color. When she caught the smug look on her guests' faces, she knew exactly who was at fault. Her suspicions were soon confirmed when Yuri returned from exile and seize the stronghold of Gori. Hungry to overthrow the woman who had disgraced him, the deposed leader now spearheaded a resistance of vengeful Asnauris and new followers who he had met while in exile. Having only recently seized power, Tamar now had to hold it. In a tense showdown, the two former partners would decide their future, or lack thereof. Oof. Oof. Uh, do not allow your enemies to capture your monument. Resist Yuri's invasion until the siege ends. Tamar can support a population of 150, but may not advance to the Imperial Age. Maintaining a navy is impossible during a siege, so you will not be able to construct warships. Yuri's rebels are powerful, but can be decimated by defensive structures boosted by the Svan Tower's technology. The Zakarian brothers will provide a temporary buffer against Yuri's auxiliary forces, but eventually you'll need to reinforce them. Destroying enemy castles will allow your allies to take over their bases and go on the offensive. Uh, Georgian cavalry gradually, gradually regenerate hit points. Uh, Tamara defends the Georgian capital of Tbilisi uh, with the aim of ending the civil war engulfing her kingdom. The Zakarian brothers support Tamar on the, uh, from the field. The young Ivane uh, will deploy swordsmen, knights, and rams from the north, while the older brother Zakari will send warrior priests, halbs, and composite bowmen from the south. Uh, Tamar's ex-husband, Yuri, has returned vengefully and laid claim to the Georgian throne. Though separated from his old Rus followers, he has swiftly replaced them with Bulgarians that he met during his exile. He marches on Tbilisi with infantry, cavalry, sea and siege engines. Embittered by Tamar's gain, several Georgian rebels have joined Yuri in his plot to overthrow Tamar. These treacherous leaders will send Lanaspas, knights, skirmishers, and pikemen into battle. Though initially weaker than Yuri himself, they will grow exponentially stronger if left unchecked. During his time in Constantinople, Yuri charmed many Byzantines into supporting him. These auxiliaries will attack Tamar from the southwest with archers, swordsmen, camels, and cataphracts. Guess who's back? Another man take my rightful place. I should have realized a red flag he would not give up so easily. Oh! Is that us? Armashene Belly. My brother and I will hold the south. You just defense to be Lisi. Get your ass. Don't get uh, do not allow your enemies, uh, where is, oh, here, here it is. Oh, this is from, uh, some of the promo, uh, like one of the promo images. Alright, so we have Tbilisi. Get some monks. Oh, we already have one. Oh boy. Okay, we have more units. Get you ours. Um I am hard but not dead. Carry on. No no no, I, I don't want to lose tomorrow like that. Okay. It's okay. Yes. I am. Did you think 
I would let another man take my rightful place. I should have realized a red like he would not give up so easily. Mm, I guess not. My brother and I will hold the south. You just defense to be listening. Okay, let's get some of those. Let's get some of those. Let's get maybe one of those. Heal! This is much better. Definitely good for the uh, the Georgian campaign to have at least one very defensively oriented scenario. This is a defensive sieve after all. Okay, there is a relic. Your Rizala is only supportive because they think we are weak. Destroy their castles, and they will quickly bend the knee. Those are the Byzantines, and those are the Georgian rebels. Guess this just leads back to Tbilisi. Oh, something's up with my mouse pad. Get to the Get a TC up over there. And all right. So obviously we have to try and defend for a certain amount of time but we need to go on the offensive now I don't know if it would be a better idea oh boy um, to go after the go after Yuri himself first or if I should go after our uh the other baddies. I restored order to Georgia. Yet you thanked me by stabbing me in the back. I was no hope to ah! Now Yuri is in the Imperial Age. Even has uh, the Bagginses. Try and go for the not Yuri opponents first, I think. I mean, we are in the castle age already. Our Yuko's climbing pretty quickly. Not too worried about that. All right, so we got some fortified churches over here and over here. Let's get one up over here. Get that. 
There is another relic over there. The uh, tower's in danger. As we terraform Tbilisi. Get spawn towers. Oh, whoa, these guys are in trouble. Bodkin, that's a pretty good upgrade out here. Oh, I guess I need to make sure they don't just walk in and take the monument. Yeah, that, that sounds important. Stop it! So you have to do that. We do not get uh, better rams. Oh, I never got freaking uh, bows off. What would all the Lithuanian villagers say to me? Go! Oops. I'm just going to go ahead and hope that's fully walled. All the defensive upgrades. Time to set up a nice defensive matrix of towers. As we go for all the monospas. Okay. This should be enough to get going. Actually, let's go after you guys first. Would make a bit more sense. Then we can just work our way northward.
what I should do is I'm gonna go for some archers and just use them to garrison the towers. Now, you don't get... Uh, Oh. Well, there it goes tomorrow. <laughs> Treacherous Georgian rebels have forfeited their holdings. There we go. Okay, Ivana is able to hang in there just fine. That I guess. Oh! <laughs> Don't attack my bills with the capture ram, jerk. Get these repairs down as we slowly get ourselves our uh, tower creep going towards Yuri. Um. Let's go ahead and see what exactly we have. Ah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, I still had like a sticker or something on my mouse that I've had for like a year and it was just now peeling off and that's why I was having so many difficulties moving my mouse anywhere, oh my goodness. Alright, tomorrow's back. Okay, it looks like we can start pushing from this direction. Oh, 
I know you might be thinking, oh, Georgians, they're not supposed to be good at archers, and their archers aren't great. But since we're stuck in Castle Age and they combo so well with towers, uh. Ah, go! Heal! <laughs> Oh, that's not fun. Ah, Michelle Bailey. I didn't really plan on going for a lot of monks, it just kind of ended up that way. Come on, got it! Let's try this again. All your base are belong to us. Your resistance crumbles before me, Lord. Let us finally put an end to our differences before all of Georgia is You take me for a fool. I never needed anyone's help. You do that, man. Stop it! Okay, I got 20 in-game minutes to do this. I think I'll be fine. Oh, I never got plus two defense for my archers. Whoops. Onward and upward. I'm trying to tread my units, Yuri. Why on earth do Vils get stuck on Vil carts? Way too much food and not enough gold. What does Viper have to do with this, man? Manaspas are balanced! Jeez. 
Jeez. Although they are bugged right now, so they get extra attack versus buildings when they should. But it's not like that. Things are going relatively swimmingly here. At, at least Yuri's in the Imperial Age, so it's... I mean, he doesn't have Imperial Age Blacksmith upgrades, which would actually be really, really tough. But he does have less infantry armor. Also, you're facing Bulgarian, so the Civ variety's, uh, you know, a little bit there. You don't really see Bulgarians too often in the campaigns. But I think we basically went about things in the right way. I just hope they'll actually resign in 14 minutes. I, I think we should be fine. It's just, you know. Eh, you'd rather be, you'd rather be sure. Oh, they have a relic. Anything up here? Oh, they have a castle. They don't like... Oh, I was going to say they don't make any boyars, but yeah, they're Bulgarians. I literally just mentioned that. I'm not too bright, guys. Oh, whoa, they actually have three relics. Man, you funny just building a barracks all the way over there? Oh, wow, these guys... See, okay, here's the thing. Both of your, uh, like, the auxiliary enemies... Uh, have castles that are, like, right at the front of their bases. On the one hand, this makes them much more useful as allies after your, uh... You know, to Ivane and Zakare. But on the other hand, it means you can't just run in and snipe the castles. But I guess this is supposed to be like a bit of a shorter scenario. Or at least it has like a guaranteed time limit. You do that. All right, hopefully they'll resign once I take down the castle. Oh, maybe I have to take down the cut posts too. There we go. There we go. Game is over, Yuri. It is over, Yuri. Now my reign will start in There we go. You go, girl. Pop up the volume. When Tamar's guards brought Yuri before the queen, everyone in the room held their breath as she contemplated the fate of the men who had just brought her kingdom to the brink of collapse. As vengeful stares surrounded him, the once dauntless spirit suddenly broke down and burst into tears. Much like myself, 
you were looked into the face of death. But in that moment, something unexpected came over my mother. And she ordered her executioner to freeze his weapon before it could land. This act of mercy appalled many, yet Tamara stood firm. Such a ruthless demonstration, she said, was unworthy of a man who had battled her so valiantly, especially when only a stroke of luck had kept her from the same fate. Yuri was blessed with another chance. I can only pray that I'm offered the same. Oof. Those Mongols, man, they'll get you, especially... Just want to have some nice mutton from the Uyghur sheep flocks. Eh, pretty solid KD still. Ivane and Zakare weren't completely useless. Fighting Yuri mostly. We almost didn't take down the Byzantine castle, which would have been very awkward. I don't think I really missed much on the map. We did use basically all of it. I mean, they, these guys had some sprawling camps. I didn't realize they had such enormous bases. But yeah, Tbilisi looks very nice. All the nice towers and whatnot. Anyway, guys, that was Yuri's Revenge. Hope you all enjoyed. Next up will be the Protectorate. See you guys next time for that one.